Hey everybody, in this tutorial uh, we're going to target uh, a question from the 2016 AP Biology exam. Only 56% of students worldwide got this question right, so I thought it was a good question to choose to do a little tutorial on. So this is question 18, um, and of course we'll reveal the answer in this tutorial video, but we'll go through all four answers and sort of dissect it and see if we can figure out kind of why is this question difficult to answer. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, be as quick as we can about it. Um, uh, here's the question. Epinephrine is a protein hormone found in many animals. Epinephrine stimulates the signaling pathway that results in the breakdown of glycogen to glucose in liver cells. Which of the following describes the initial steps in the process whereby epinephrine stimulates glycogen breakdown? Um, and so we, lot, we see actually all four of these answers uh, sort of biologically, I guess you could argue, kind of make sense, but one of them is definitely um, the right answer and makes the most sense. Um, so let's just go uh, from A through D. So uh, A says epinephrine binds to a cell surface receptor. The activated receptor stimulates production of the second messenger cyclic AMP. Um, at, at first glance, that seems like that might be a possible answer, um, especially if you look here in our, in our textbook, we know that you, know, you have a signaling molecule that's going to contact a receptor and there's going to be some transduction proteins produced and some, some kind of chemical reactions happening here and then eventually some kind of response over here. In, in our um, epinephrine question, that, that response is the, the mobilization of the glycogen. Um, and so, so we just have to figure out kind of like where uh, our epinephrine is most likely to lie in this sort of um, regime here. Um, and if I turn the page, um, I can actually... Uh, get a nice representation of the cyclic AMP thing. So this is answer A, where you have a signaling molecule, there and there's a receptor protein, you get some GTP coupled action going on here potentially, but eventually you get cyclic AMP. We know cyclic AMP is a secondary messenger used by a lot of signal transduction transduction pathways. The question is, is it the one being used by um, epinephrine? So um, let's go back to our question here. So again, this one seems okay, at least to start with. Like that's a, that's a possible way that a hormone could um, stimulate cyclic AMP and then stimulate that uh, response in the liver. So let's go to this one. Let's see how, how good this one looks. Epinephrine binds to a cell surface receptor. Um, the activated receptor catalyzes the conversion of glu glycogen to glucose. So this in this one, they're basically saying that the receptor itself, once it's activated, sort of turns into to an enzyme. And again, I can go back to our textbook here and um, I can kind of see some examples, uh, some of the most well-known membrane receptor examples here. We got uh, G protein here. Um, we have uh, tyrosine kinases you know, happening here. And it's just, there's just no example of the actual receptor. That's the purple molecule here actually doing the chemical reaction. Now the, the tyrosine kinase, for example, here at the end activates, um, you know, takes an inactive enzyme potentially and then activates it. And then that green little enzyme here is what does the response. But the actual receptor itself is not actually catalyzing that reaction. So B just doesn't seem like a good one uh, for us to go with. Let's go to C. Uh, epinephrine diffuses through the plasma membrane. The hormone dimerizes um, in the cytosol. Um, this example over here from our book uh, shows how a hormone can go directly through the cell membrane. Um, some of those will, are going to act as transcription factors for the DNA, um, but they don't have to. They can just kind of like be active in the, in the cytosol or in the cytoplasm. Um, we know that this hormone has to be a lipid soluble um, hormone. You would have to kind of like know that epinephrine actually isn't um, uh, a uh, lipid soluble um, hormone. Um, it turns out you know, that it isn't. Um, but uh, so again, this seems like possible, but again, it hinges on the fact that epinephrine would be lipid soluble. So, eh, I don't know, 50 50 on the C answer there. Let's go to D. D, epinephrine is taken into the cell by endocytosis, glycogen is converted to glucose in the endocytotic vesicle. A um, lot of goodness there, right? Uh, so endocytosis, of course, producing a vesicle. We know that stuff that is taken in through endocytosis and put into a vesicle can be reacted with. Um, that's one of the reasons why the cell will uh, take something in uh, by endocytosis. The question is, is it doing that to epinephrine? We know that epinephrine is a signaling molecule, and we know that um, the signaling molecules tend to work here you know, on the cell surface. They're not really being taken in in any of these examples. I can go back to my G protein. Again, here's the signaling molecule, it's just not being taken in. Um, uh, cell communication has little to do with, you know, transporting molecules across the membrane, and it really has everything to do with things binding simply on the outside and there being um, some kind of reaction on the inside of the cell. So if we go back here, um, you know, D just doesn't sound very good. C, we're a little shaky on. Um, uh, B just was like, no, the, the receptors really aren't actually acting as the enzyme. And so we're kind of left with um, our answer here, which is A, that epinephrine binds to the cell surface receptor of the activated uh, receptor stimulates production of the second messenger cyclic AMP. And again, I can go back to this um, great diagram here of, you know, some general things such as epinephrine. It actually says 
such as <laughs> epinephrine right here in the book. Um, in fact, epinephrine is the main signaling uh, um, example used in this entire chapter. Um, this is chapter 11, um, cell communication. So again, th this shows what can happen. That's one of the answers that we have to do, uh, that we have to choose from here. And it turns out that's the right one. So um, that's my breakdown of uh, question 18 in the 2016 exam.